Let's talk about the numbers for May. This data just came out and there's some big news. We had a very large increase in the median home price, near $12,000 increase from previous month. So let's take a look at the graph and you will see that the new median home price is 442,120 and you will see the jump up that's been happening over the last couple months. We had a peak in the market back in May. We went down, 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 down. Those were in like five, $10,000 increments. And then we ended up seeing a upswing in the last few months. This is significant because we just don't have enough homes to sell. You would think with 7% interest rates or near that, that we would not be seeing an increase in the median home price, but it always comes down to inventory, supply and demand. There always is a cause and effect, and that is what's at play here. Now this is our market. Um, and another thing is, if you look at the number of closings, so let's take a look at that graph. You're gonna see that we had a few more closings than last month, about 18% higher closings. Well, if we're not getting enough inventory, so let's go look at that graph. We're gonna see that our inventory is down to 1.6 months of supply. We just do not have enough inventory. So if not enough new homes are gonna hit the market and they're selling out and more closings, what does that do? That creates less supply, higher demand. So let's talk about demand for a minute. Buyers are shopping. About 40% of the homes are stale and about 60% that hit the market are newer in less than 30 days. Those homes are typically gonna sell fairly quickly. And right now we're back to seeing bidding wars. We're seeing prices go above lists. We're seeing at list, especially if it's priced well, it'll take that action. The ones that are stale though, were priced too much in the first place. They're not moving ready and they may need renovations. So sometimes there's a part of the market that's not even good and or sellable. And that's a big part of the market actually. The other thing to look at is the number of new listings. We're just not getting to where we need to be. So if you take a look at that graph, we're just below par when it comes to the previous years and that's not necessarily a good sign. So what do I see more of? I see a lot of the same right now. I think we're going to have the demand stay in place. We just don't have the relief when it comes to inventory. Where's it gonna come from? What if interest rates actually come down? That's gonna dry up the market even more, meaning there will be less homes to sell, it'll be even more competitive, and the prices will probably go up. So those are just typical nuances of how supply demand works and why we're seeing an uptick in the median home price. If you have any questions about real estate, give us a call because we would love to help.